नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम टुडे इज फोर्थ जून सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द हाईलाइट ऑफ टुडेज टुडेज हाईलाइट इज रिगार्डिंग हीट वेव कंडीशन कंटिन्यूएशन ओवर बिहार वेस्ट बंगाल एंड सिक्किम ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट फाइव डेज इन एडिशन टू दिस नॉर्थ ईस्ट झारखंड इज ऑल्सो लाइकली टू एक्सपेक्ट टू रिसीव हीट वेव कंडीशन एट वन और टू लोकेशन ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट फाइव डेज सो अकॉर्डिंगली दिस इज द हाईलाइट एंड इफ बी सी Uh, yesterday's realized weather you can see that hail storm reported uh, over isolated pockets of uh, western parts of Rajasthan Madhya Pradesh and Odisha and yesterday heavy rainfall reported at one or two stations over Kerala Rail Sima and eastern parts of Rajasthan in Kerala 7 to 11 cm rainfall reported in Rail Sima of the order of 7 cm in Rajasthan also the same uh, intensity rainfall reported if we see the locations of heat wave so Uh, this is the fourth day consecutive uh, when uh, uh, bihar west bengal and sikkim reported heat wave in over bihar heat wave to severe heat wave conditions at uh, some places reported and uh, heat wave uh, at some places reported over sub island west bengal and sikkim and at isolated places over gangetic west bengal so these are the yesterday's uh, realized weather now if we look, in, look at the uh, today's prevailing synoptic system so today we are having two western disturbances one over roughly northern parts of mp in uh, uh, middle tropospheric levels as a trough and another western disturbance over iran in adjoining areas as a cyclonic circulation in middle tropospheric levels and we are four cyclonic circulations one over northwest rajasthan another over southwest rajasthan third one over southern parts of chatisgarh and adjoining areas and fourth one is the east central bay of bengal and adjoining coast of myanmar so these are the four cyclonic circulation in addition to we are having two troughs one trough runs from northeast bihar to northern parts of chatisgarh and another trough runs from the cyclonic circulation over south chatisgarh to north interior tamil nadu across telangana rail sima and uh, south interior karnataka so in uh, under the uh, influence of these synoptic systems you can see that there is a clouding over different location one main patch is lying over southwest mp north northeast gujarat and uh, northern parts of maharashtra another major clouding runs roughly seen over southern parts of uh, arabian sea and uh, third major clouding is over southern parts of bay of bengal and andaman nicobar and andaman sea areas so these are the clouding and synoptic system of systems prevailing today now let us uh, review the maximum temperature scenario yesterday of the order of 40 to 43 degrees celsius temperature reported over mainly interior odisha chatisgarh bihar negative west bengal and south uh, parts of mp and also over vidarbha telangana rail sima and coastal andhra pradesh and also over north uh, coastal tamil nadu so these were the pockets where temperature maximum temperature were of the order of 40 to 43 otherwise most parts of the country reported temperature below 40 degrees celsius if we see these pockets where temperature especially bihar negative west bengal and sikkim where and also over northeast parts of the country where temperature were above normal by 4 to 6 degrees celsius otherwise this belt that is central parts of the country north peninsular india where temperature were above normal by 2 to 4 degrees celsius over rest parts of the country maximum temperatures were either normal or below normal so this is the scenario of uh, maximum temperature now let us uh, look at the day by day weather warnings issued by imd so this map is valid for next 24 hours so orange color is given to bihar west bengal and sikkim because of uh, prevalence of uh, heat wave conditions over this region so accordingly heat wave to severe heat wave conditions likely over bihar at some pockets during next 24 hours and over west bengal and sikkim heat wave conditions also likely at uh, one or two places during next 24 hours in addition to this this uh, pocket of northeast jharkhand adjoining areas of uh, this bihar and uh, gangetic west bengal also likely to experience heat wave conditions today and also this uh, eastern parts of telangana and south coastal andhra pradesh also likely to receive heat wave conditions today evening and if we see the most parts of the country yellow color is given because of likely Uh, likely thunderstorm and gusty wind activity at one or two stations over different parts of the country if we see the heavy rainfall possibility it is expected to receive one or two stations heavy rainfall over kerala and tamil nadu during next 24 hours so this is uh, the map valid for next 24 hours if we see the fisherman warning fisherman warning has been issued for this pocket that is kerala lakshadweep area 
and also this Gulf of Mannar, Gulf of Mannar and Tamil Nadu coast, and also for the the south parts of the Arabian Sea and South Bay of Bengal and Andaman Nicobar Islands and Andaman Sea during next 24 hours. So accordingly, fishermen are advised not to venture into these areas. So this is map for 24 hours. If we see the map for tomorrow, this most part of the country likely to receive thunderstorm activity at one or two locations except this Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand and also Vidarva and this Arunachal Pradesh where no significant weather is likely. Otherwise, over most parts of the country, thunderstorm activity likely to continue at one or two pockets. If we see the heavy rainfall possibility, it is likely to continue over Tamil Nadu and Kerala on 5th of June also. So this is the map for 5th of June. So if we see the map of 6th June, you can see that most parts of Northwest, adjoining Central and Western parts of the country, no significant weather is likely on 6th of June. However, this along the East Coast, South Central India and our islands where thunderstorm activity likely to continue on 6th of June. This also Northeast parts of the country including Assam Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura also likely to experience thunderstorm activity on 6th of June. Otherwise, uh, if we see the heat wave scenario, it is likely to uh, experience over uh, Bihar, Gangetic West Bengal and Sikkim and also this, uh, ex this condition of heat wave likely to experience on 6th over Vidarbha, Telangana and eastern parts of Jharkhand also. If we see the map of 7th, this is uh, overall same map. Uh, for the heat wave uh, aspect or the same condition likely to continue in addition this uh, southeast parts of Uttar Pradesh also likely to experience heat wave condition on 7th of June. Otherwise thunderstorm activity likely to continue over South Central India mainly especially Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala and Lakshadweep region. And if we just see the map of 8th of June you can see that this uh, heat wave scenario likely to continue on 8th also over the same locations including Southeast Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Sikkim and Vidarbha region. And more or less same situation of thunderstorm likely to continue over South Peninsular India including Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Karnataka, Kerala and also over Odisha region. So this is uh, about the eighth as regards our Southwest monsoon. So uh, if we see the today's observation, the depth of westerly has increased up to the 2.1 km above mean sea level. Cloud mass also increased over southeast Arabian Sea. So accordingly, IMD is regularly monitoring uh, the situation of onset of monsoon over Kerala and next update uh, will be issued tomorrow, that is the 5th, 5th of June. So this is all about today's. You can stay connected with us through different modes like our website mosom.imd.gov.in also social media, media platform like Facebook and Twitter. If you are new to our channel kindly subscribe and follow us. Thank you.